Hello, welcome to Sheepdog Says. I'm Sheepdog, and I don't know if you've seen the news this past week, um, and I'm sure if you've listened to the podcast or seen me rant on Twitter, but you know that I used to be a massive fan of The Walking Dead, and in the past year, it has just eaten itself and become the worst programme on television. Um, the news, and this isn't really spoilerish. I mean, it's everywhere. So if you don't know by now, it's probably better that you find out like this than by watching the trash that will be season nine. Um, but Rick and Maggie are both leaving in the next season because the actors and actress have had enough. By the looks of it, they realise it's the most boring, turgid, badly written, badly thought out mess uh, it's just the worst program um, compared to how it used to be. And I consider that even in like season two when it completely lost its way and was a whole season of looking for a character that nobody cared about, that nobody wanted to find um, and that ultimately was just a waste of time and a massive, massive red herring. Um, but even then it felt like it had more promise than it has done since it's become the shooty, shooty, shouty show um, they've killed off major, major characters that shouldn't have been killed off. There was no reason to kill them off. I wonder whether they, if they'd known they were going to have the problems they have now, whether they would have killed off the characters they did in, in the last season. But um, as somebody who invested a lot of time into the comics, I mean, I, on my vlog, I wrote like a lot of... Actually, thinking about it, it's probably a little bit lame because it's probably basically fan fiction, but I was just writing what I wished they'd do with the programme or how I wished the comics would go. And I'd written this whole kind of... I can't remember how many parts I wrote, three or four parts now, about how I wanted them to basically start heading towards an end game. I wanted them to find out that Russians were... Um, like stationed on boats outside of America, just kind of observing what was going on because most of the world was still okay. And my plan was that, you know, they'd start getting people who who would come on and take a few of them off to the ship to, to either test on them, look after them, see what's going on, see if they're clean, see if they can be cured, and just generally try and move it into a more broader this is going to go somewhere kind of pattern. They could have ultimately had it go in a rather depressing direction and had maybe the infection spreading and getting worse and killing everyone and the world kind of ending or something like that. But it seems like it needs that kind of fork where they push things to a point where they either go towards a cure and the world being saved or they go towards no cure being possible and the world ending. Um, but they don't seem interested in that. They seem in more interested in just wandering around in circles being literally walking dead forever and the comic can kind of pull that off because you read it once a month you've been reading it for 10 years you're just kind of watching the characters as they whittle away their lives until they die that kind of works as a comic although i've stopped reading the comic for the most part i don't think i've read it in at least six seven eight months um because it might not have been that long actually comics are hard to track in your mind because it feels like forever but i'm probably only four comics behind um but I kind of felt like that had jumped the shark when they just started going off on little travels and meeting these really bizarre characters who just seemed, I don't know, they were too kooky and oddbally. And I thought, well, all the kooky people would have stood out too much by now. They'd have been killed by now. You can't think that there'd be these mad, you know, really outlandish people who have mad bags of personality and have spent two, three, four, five years on their own. Um, it just doesn't add up. So they've either got some sinister backstory to them that I've not yet read or they're just weird. But... I feel like the TV show tried to be too clever. And I did a thing before, I don't know, I can't remember if it was a video or a vlog, where I was saying, I don't understand why TV executives feel the need to try and be too clever. Especially if you've got, like, a main piece of work to work from. You know, he had, they had, sorry, to over 10 years' worth of comics that they could have literally just followed. I don't think that would have been the best plan, to just go monotonously through the comics, because people would be constantly waiting for certain things to happen. But... To do little twists on that would have made sense. I feel like they, they made mistakes early on that they never recovered from. They badly casted Andrea and then they couldn't fix that. So they killed her off and kept Carol around, who was also, in my opinion, badly cast and is a rubbish character anyway. Instead of her dying in like season two or three where she should have done, she's still in the bleeding show. Whereas Andrea was killed off when she should have been alive for at least another two seasons in the TV show. Um, you know, getting rid of some of the other characters was mad. 
getting you know the stuff that's happened in this season i don't really want to pinpoint it too much in case some of you haven't seen it yet but the stuff that's happened in this season shouldn't have happened and it seems mad that it has and you're just kind of looking at it all thinking if you'd have just got some things right at the start you'd probably have been okay now but because they've messed up and they've not looked after people right they've got two of their main bleeding you know Ma maggie and rick along with carl would have been running the show for like, running the the communities between them for the next like five years or whatever and um yeah basically they're moving on from that and they can't possibly do it it's all a mess so I just don't get it. It seems mad. It seems like such an odd decision for such a highly rated program. Um, and that's another thing. Like They always say this show gets millions and millions and millions of viewers, but I don't really know how all that works anymore because it used to be that they would just ask a few people what they were watching and then they'd extrapolate that out into the world and say, right, a bajillion people are watching this or only four people are watching this, so we're going to cancel it. But they seem to have decided that Walking Dead gets I don't know, 15 million viewers an episode and that it's the best thing on. I, I can't, I, off the top of my head, I don't think there's many shows that get that many views or more views. I don't think Game of Thrones beat it. It might have only beaten it once or twice. Uh, my mate works for Sky and he was telling me some, some of the outstanding ratings of things. And Walking Dead's always done really well. But if you look around online, nobody's positive about it. Nobody says it's a, a popular show anymore. Um, I really hope that it doesn't get constantly supported for being trashy because it's just turning into a weird soap. And they've made the insane decision to give Daryl the lead. They're paying Norman Reedus 20 million quid to stick around and be the lead character. And he's the worst character in it. He's the absolute train wreck. I get that he's the one they've made, that he's the one AMC own, and he's the one that they think will make them a successful show moving forward. But they've tried to release Daryl games that have flopped. They've tried to write more around him and it's not done very well he's not a good character he's just a grunt who's like a side character and because he was in it he ruined michonne he ruined andrea he ruined carl um you know all of their stories were hindered by the fact that they had to give daryl something to do at some point during the show and i kind of just wish they'd killed him off and brought in new characters that they owned because that would have made more sense to me kill him off bring someone else in that's better or or whatever kill them off bring someone in and just have this rotating cast they could have sold more figures they could have broadened their characters you know they've done fear the walking dead which is all their characters and i mean that apparently gets a lot better but i thought it sucked um I feel like this sort of thing happens quite a lot. If you look at Scrubs, for example, that's the one that's get banded about, banded about a lot. They got to the end of Scrubs, and rather than cancelling it when all the all the actors and actresses got too big for it and they weren't interested anymore, and the show had just run its its cycle. You got to the point where you watched the show and you were just like, they're going to say this, she's going to do that, he's going to do this, they're going to do that, he's going to swear, he's going to whatever, and. It was just really obvious and so they decided to do the new class and it lasted one season it was it was average it wasn't anywhere near as good but it it didn't last it just got canned people weren't interested so many people switched off and you think when are they going to learn well once upon a time is another program that i used to watch religiously and they did their seasons and then the main character wanted to leave she wanted to go on to better things although she's not really gone anywhere great and um Basically, they decided to recast half the people. They decided to recharacterize all the people that stayed, so they so they weren't themselves. They were somebody else. And again, I watched like four of them and thought, nope, not interested. And that got cancelled. And it's like, well, what do you expect to happen? You can't replace all the characters. You can't just decide someone else is going to take over. I was trying to think of any times I've seen the lead character changing something and it ever carry on on telly. And the only one that comes to mind is uh, Stargate SG One. Um, what's his name? He played Jack O'Neill. Richard Dean Anderson left and they got a guy in. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember rightly, it lasted for at least three more seasons. It might have only been two. But whilst there was a definite kind of, oh, it's gone from there to there, that's not very, you know, that's not great. The story picked up so much and the enemy was so good that you got used to him and suddenly it felt like it was straight back up there. For the first few, I was like, ah, what are you doing? But then it got back up and it was decent. But I feel like we already know what to expect with Daryl. He's not good enough. He's just, I mean, unless they suddenly give him a personality, what on earth is he going to do? And the worst thing is, it's going to be Daryl and Carol, assuming she hasn't been killed. I don't know. I'm not up to scratch. But it just seems mental that out of all of the people in The Walking Dead, the people that are left are Daryl and Carol moving forward. 
That just seems ridiculous because one doesn't exist in the comics and the other died very early at the prison. She hugged a walker because she was so depressed and let it bite her. She was a really creepy character in the comics and it would have been decent to have her like that on the, t on the TV. She basically tried to convince Rick and his wife to let her be their wife and they live in a three person marriage and they were like, no thank you. And then she was so messed up that she decided to feed herself to walkers. Um, it, which is odd, again, they killed Sophia when they could have killed Carol. They could have spent the whole time looking for her and it would have probably been more entertaining and better to see her get mauled by zombies. But all we got was Sophia getting mauled, which just seemed utterly emotionless and pointless. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened with TV shows that seemed like a bad idea. Everyone cites Joey as a, a show that was a terrible idea because they tried to carry on friends with just him and a new lot of people. But... That feels like they weren't trying to do that at all. They were trying to create Fraser too with a less uh, clever character. But Joey was an all right program. If they had brought that out off the bat on their own as a, a, about an aspiring actor, it would have probably done averagely on telly, but it would have probably gone on for at least sort of four or five seasons. The fact that it was the spin-off from Friends killed it because everyone was expecting it to just go from Friends straight to Joey with loads of cameos. And they made the weird decision of saying, no, no cameos, they won't be in it which seems really odd when you've you've built it on that premise. You'd have at least had them pop in once or twice throughout. I think they got two seasons, actually, but it was weird to think that none of his friends visited him in that whole two years when they lived together for 10-plus years. Um, this is it, I guess. When shows make no sense, when they haven't thought about it logically, when it doesn't feel right in the universe that it's in, it doesn't work. And that's what this is like at the moment. The fact that I just can't see any community suddenly going, well... Rick and Maggie are gone, let's all follow Daryl, doesn't work, he's never wanted to be a leader, he doesn't want to be a leader, he's not interested in it, so unless it's just him getting on his motorbike and riding off into the sunset and seeing what pops up, I just don't see how it works, that, that would probably be the only way I'd look at it and go, oh, I'll give it a watch out of interest, but... Even then, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want them to benefit from the numbers. I don't want it to be fifteen million on one. I'd rather it be fifteen million and and not go above that. Um, I'm hoping it'd be much lower. I just want them to just fail now and just just assign this to the scrap heap, give it ten years, and then bring it back, and we'll all reminisce about what a, a load of rubbish the old one became and whether they can fix it this time. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my, my TV rant for the day. Um, I think I've got, we're about to watch season five of Arrested Development. That has been really cool. That's a program where they tried to do something clever to make season four work. And I don't really know why they did it. They filmed it in a weird way. They couldn't get everyone together on time. So they filmed it in this weird order and mixed and matched. And it didn't really work. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't great. I've just re-watched, the, they've called it the remix, they've called it Arrested Development, Fatal Consequences. And watching it in their new order is, is, a, is so much better. I recommend it. The first episode wasn't great. I watched the first episode back and thought, I hate Buster, he's not a very good character. This is stupid. Why did I like this show? And then from episode two onwards, I thought it was amazing. Um, we've just finished it. We're going to start season five on Netflix now. I'm hoping that that keeps going. That's got a little bit of... Uh, uh, negativity around it at the moment because of stuff that's happened in the real world but I'm trying to just filter that out and watch the program for what it is because I really like this program and it's yeah it's on its fifth season I don't think they'll do any more judging by the arguments that have happened which is a big big shame but hopefully it got a resolution um, I'll cover that at some point probably on, on Mature Gamer um, but yeah let me know your thoughts on the Walking Dead news. I hope I haven't spoiled it for anyone. I mean, let's face it, it's not a major spoiler. It's just the show sucks and um, watch something else. Might I recommend Arrested Development? Um, sorry for ruined scrubs for anyone or Once Upon a Time or Joey. Um, and yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Blah, watching. Hit subscribe, watch more videos, comment, all that stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Um, recommend some TV shows because once I've finished Arrested Development, I think I've only got Kimmy Schmidt, and that's it for now. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to catch up on. So I'm always interested in more recommendations. Um, I can't think of anything. I've probably got loads of stuff to watch, to be fair. My eyes are going to go even squarer than they already are. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow.